Is that a non sodium baby powder? Too much. Double two tablespoonfuls. You that, mentioned as a was, spiritual Yeah, well, the Cash and Chronicles are the okay. record of everything that's ever happened on earth, everything that is happening, and everything that will happen. So is that another book, or is that no, rest that's, throughout that's, the... that's what he... He researched the Cash and Chronicles spiritually, because you can read the Cash and Chronicles here, and one other aspect of the human being, unbeknownst to most of us, is that we all have what are called organs of spiritual perception, and these are located in our chakra the six the seven chakras mm -hmm. and when we learn to open those up through meditation and various other uh, aspects of life especially moral I mean the whole thing that Steiner talks about is that we have to be morally clear and we have to be truthful and honest especially about ourselves and all the faults and so forth that we have and the more we develop ourselves first morally the, the more we are likely to be able to open up our organs of spiritual perception, along with learning about spiritual knowledge through what he writes, plus doing the meditative exercise which are designed to help us do that. And of course he also says that actually that's going to be given to very few people in this time to be able to do that. But a time will come by our next incarnation when we will be born with the faculty of being able to spiritually perceive the spiritual world while we are in our physical bodies. And, but he developed that ability himself through various, no, that's a long Meditation? story. Meditation? Yeah. Well, it's a long story, but I can, you know, you have to read his book and he basically through good and so forth. But anyway, the point is, is that when you can, one of that, and of course there's many aspects to being able to see into the spiritual world, but one of the major ones is this Akashi Chronicle. So the Akashi Chronicle, then, you, the whole history of life is there. I mean, the, the point is about the Akashi Chronicle, not only can you actually perceive events going on in the past, you perceive them as if you were there, and not only do you see what's going on, you actually know what all the participants in that particular event were thinking and feeling while they were doing it. What's the name of Akashic? Akashic. A -K -A. Is that the name of a group of writing or something? No, it's all color. Yeah, it's a, it's a spiritual writing. A-K-A-S-H-I-C. Akashic Chronicle. In other words, what we're doing right now, and me talking to you and you listening to me, and this cooking going on, and all the thoughts that are going on, and all the feelings that are going on in you right now, is being imprinted in the Akashic record. So that if we wish, later on when we have the ability to see this, we can call this scene up before our spiritual eye, and we can all know what each and every one of us are feeling and thinking while I'm saying what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. As Christ said, everything will be revealed. And, and so, that, we'll, so we'll be able to find out who killed Kennedy. No problem. And, and that is be, that as well as being is being recorded. What? They're looking at the Akashic Chronicles. That as well as being recorded. For, yeah, definitely. Everything. Right, just what you said. That's right. <laughs> Do you want to know all this? It's not a book. What is it? I just told you what it is. No, I mean. We just, as we're saying things, these are imprinted into this, this occult, what they call the occult record. Occult means hidden. Okay, it doesn't have anything to do with black magic, although it can do, of course, but it means it's this spiritual script, which is written by our activities and deeds and thoughts and feelings while we're doing them. Forever and ever, amen. First computer. No, it's nothing to do with computers. <laughs> so you could go back and watch the Battle of Waterloo. Yeah, and you can watch, yeah, you can do that. You can also see, find out what happened in Watergate. Are there people that can do that? Spiritually, spiritual people can do this. People who are doing, I, don't know, I wouldn't say spiritual people is the right description. People who have learned to open up their organs of spiritual perception. You, know, you can go back to the crucifixion and witness that for yourself. Whatever. Anything you can. That's that was, what Christ means by everything will be revealed. What? That would be like a goal. 
Where a goal to do what? I mean, that would be like, you know. Yeah, you know, everything's going to see, 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 because the history that we've been taught is just the. <coughs> yeah, so it's like, you know, of course, it, and, and I've noticed for a long time now, I mean, even before I was microbiased, that the weather patterns were changing, getting different. And of course, it's all human influence, basically. You mean because of the uh, depletion of certain. No, it's element. because. No, you got to understand. See, another spiritual thing coming up here. You can't seek for explanations physically. You can't seek them. They will not give you any indication. The fact of the matter is the human heart, the heart function of the human, that has to do with creation, plus has to do with feeling, plus has to do with relationships. Those are tied in etherically to the etheric world, which is the world of plants and air and wind and rain and sun and all that. Not sun, but wind and rain. So as human beings become more and more, shall we say, subhuman, let's put it that way, to be blunt about it, mm -hmm. all our passions and desires and egotisms and manipulations and greed and deceit and so forth going on, having to do with our passions, they begin to influence the etheric world negatively. Mm -hmm. So that's the cause of all this, you know, upheavals that are going on in the earth and the, and the weather patterns. Is that what you were referring to when you started out with the uh, discussion on Steiner? You had will and jealous, jealousy, and what was the other? Greed. Greed. All the seven deadly sins, right? Mm -hmm. Pride, eh? That's another one. Pride. It seems to be people have seem to have forgotten that pride is a sin. I mean, it's a, an, uh, an Ill, illness-inducing force, pride. And everybody's asked, you know, you've got to be proud to be black or proud to be white or I'm proud to be American. This is so absurd. People didn't even think that, you know. Totally absurd. Proud to be alive. Proud to be this, you know. Pride, as well as I was always taught, pride becomes, comes before a fall. You ever heard that one? Right. So all those things. Now, Steiner's got this diagram. He says, in order to understand the phenomena that have to do with earthquakes, volcanoes going up, you know, storms, tsunamis, blizzards, tornadoes, hurricanes, all these things going on, disturbances of the weather, and the, the telluric, what they call telluric activity, tell us has to do with the earth, mm -hmm. is, he drew this picture, and he just, he just, and he didn't say much about it, actually, because a lot of this tells, he said a lot of this stuff tells into deep mysteries that I can't really tell you about, they're too deep. I can't tell you about this right now. All he did was he just drew a circle of the earth and then he drew all these figures. And he said, you imagine the circle, the globe, the earth being populated by all these people circling the globe and all their heart functions, they go right into the earth. And he says, you, you have to understand that the, the way the human being is feels, thinks, and does, influences everything in nature, even to the way the plants grow. So, that's the explanation. And it's no good trying to explain with all this stuff. There's the wind, the way the wind is, and the way the, 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 you know, the, what's his name, the rain comes and so forth, the patterns of the clouds, all those are influenced by people and the way they think and feel and act. So, the human beings are becoming, and Steiner said this, another very interesting statement, he said in 19, I don't know where it was actually, I can't remember even what lecture I read this, but it was a lecture he said. He said, as long as, you, as, long as the human people seek for explanations of the phenomena of the world with materialistic thinking. Those materialistic thoughts will act like a hammer in the spiritual world. In other words, he says materialistic thoughts, thoughts that have spirit, they, they actually have a spiritual form that is like a hammer, hammering stuff. They will act in such a manner that they will bring about the, dis, the what do you say, the destruction of the very atmosphere itself. And of course, 